Chào mừng các bạn đã quay trở lại với kênh YouTube của mình. Đây là những tác phẩm mà mình tạo ra. Và Okay. Mình giới thiệu, Aggressive. mình là yeah. uh, một người đam mê, Jonathan Grenard, right here yeah. with the Minnesota Vikings. đam mê làm sáng tạo nội dung trên YouTube. So Và video ngày hôm nay mình sẽ tạo ra những video thật là tuyệt vời và ý nghĩa để gửi tặng đến các bạn. Và video đó là gì thì mời các bạn cùng theo dõi để đón xem Và mình mong rằng các bạn hãy like và đăng ký kênh khi xem video của mình Để mình tiếp tục đến động lực ra video Mình cảm ơn các bạn rất là nhiều Bây giờ không để các bạn phải chờ lâu nữa Mà các bạn cùng theo dõi quá trình tạo ra video của mình Xin mời các bạn No, we're, we're going to get back on a clock and a calendar uh, eventually here, Mike. Uh, preseason games getting going tomorrow. The Ravens play their preseason opener Friday against the Eagles, but don't anticipate seeing the reigning NFL MVP, Lamar Jackson, not going to play in that preseason opener, according to coach John Harbaugh. Derek Henry not expected to play at all in the entire preseason here. It does make sense. Of course, John Harbaugh and the Ravens have put a premium on competing and winning in those preseason games at time they've suffered some injuries along the way here not going to expose the reigning MVP at least this week and not going to expose the veteran running back Derrick Henry at all so you will just have to wait until the regular season to get some of that more insiders tonight 3 p.m. Eastern time excuse me 3 p.m. Pacific 6 p.m. Eastern time that's in like tonight. holy crap 39 Wednesday. minutes we better get ready for this show Mike so we'll, we'll see a lot more from you Mike Wednesday. McDonald Seahawks head coach also joining us on that show All right, we've got more Seahawks practice on the way. There's big Byron Murphy he joined us on set earlier. It's some interesting things to say about his head coach. Talk a bit more about that and what this new look defense might mean for the Seahawks ultimate success this season. Next here on Inside Training Camp Live. I'm Matthew. I'm Melissa. And together we started Fresh Clean Threads. For most of my life, I've worn a black t-shirt. And most were either too short, too baggy, or weren't consistent. Using my years of apparel experience, we set out to make the world's best fitting t-shirt. Since day one, our fresh clean tees were made to offer a flattering fit for all body types and not break the bank. Unleash your confidence at freshcleanthreads.com. To buy or not to buy? That is their question. And nobody knows shoppers better than Shopify. The undisputed, undefeated, checkout champion of the world. Businesses that want to win, win with Shopify. I know you're going through a lot. I wonder if you know that we can get help. Let's see how far we can go. Love your mind. Chào mừng các bạn đã quay trở lại với kênh YouTube của mình. That small thing to keep us focused. Đây là những tác phẩm mà mình tạo ra và mình xin giới thiệu mình là một người đam mê đam mê làm sáng tạo nội dung trên YouTube và video ngày hôm nay mình sẽ tạo ra những video thật là tuyệt vời và ý nghĩa để gửi tặng đến các bạn và video đó là gì thì mời các bạn cùng theo dõi để đón xem và mình mong rằng các bạn hãy like và đăng ký kênh khi xem video của mình để mình tiếp tục đến động lực ra video Mình cảm ơn các bạn rất là nhiều Bây giờ Không để các bạn phải chờ lâu nữa Mà các bạn cùng theo dõi quá trình mình tạo ra video của mình Xin mời các bạn
fentanyl is being mixed into everything now. There's only one thing that will save somebody's life. That is naloxone nasal spray. Fentanyl is cheap, it's potent, and it's profitable. Why would drug dealers put a lethal dose of fentanyl in drugs if they know it's so harmful? It's really just all about the money. I just didn't realize that one pill could change your whole life. More kitchen now. All right, back here on Inside Training Camp Live, there's Geno Smith piloting this Seahawks offense here in Renton, Washington, a Wednesday practice ahead of their preseason debut this weekend against the L.A. Chargers. Let's get a look at some next-gen stats powered by AWS. Putting Geno's last couple of years here into perspective, in fact, just from the 2023 season, when you talk about the fourth quarter overtime, when you've got to have it, look at what Geno's been able to do. Number one passing touchdown to interception ratio in those final 15 plus minutes of a game and the most game winning drives of any quarterback among the 32 qualified a year ago. So back for a third season leading this offense, but plenty of new. Red Lewis, Michael Robinson, Tom Pelissero with you here watching Gino. And look, I, and I have brought it up many times because I am very excited about what this offense can do down the field. But they are going to be able to hand the ball off with a pretty high degree of success with some talented running backs. Kenneth Walker, uh, Zach Charbonnet, McIntosh, like the, that whole crew. But then as you've been mentioning, how does that group in front of them come together to allow all that to happen, both in the run and the pass? This offensive line, Rhett, is going to tell the story uh, of this 2024 uh, Seattle Seahawks offense. I mean, it really is. When you're, when you, when you have some of the downfield concepts that our new offensive coordinator Coach Grubbs has in this offense, right? I mean, deep, deep crossers, uh, uh, you know, nine routes, slot fades, all of these things. When you have so many deep, deep concepts, your offensive line has to be studs, right? They have to be able to hold up on one-on-one -on -one blocking. Those guys have to be to be able to identify the blitzers and protect Geno Smith. The guy just two years ago, and Geno Smith completed over 70 percent of his passes one comeback player of the year was almost at 70 percent completion of his passes last year and if you ask any receiver the number one thing that he needs his quarterback to have and that's accuracy and that's what geno smith has so to me if this offensive line can protect him i think this offense will be explosive keep an eye on the injuries too along the offensive line sure. which were a big factor last year abe lucas is still on the pup list sounds like right around the start of the regular season is yeah. probably when he gets cleared they brought back george Fant, who's played a lot of football yeah. a yeah. former seahawk played view didn't he uh, he didn't play with right after me, right, after. right at literally about, the years uh, right after. I was going to give you younger than old. Lincoln Tomlinson following the Mike Robb journey, right? Going from the Bay Area to San Francisco yeah. here. Yeah, man. Yeah. He's right. a new, he's a new little one of those hard there. spots. Yeah. So Absolutely. being able to have that depth, though, that they've continued to invest in bringing in Lincoln Tomlinson after he got released in the offseason, recently adding Connor Williams. He's not here yet. He's not on the field, but they're going to be ramping him up. Another guy who's coming off of an injury.